Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the the Minecraft game category. No, we did not. It's okay. Let's change that real quick. All right, you have inverted scroll. Yep. And you're gonna have to turn the. Is the capture card audio back on? Yes, I did. Okay, it's just very quiet. Um, are you gonna play on that, or on? Do you want me to switch over the thing? Um, this is fine. Okay. That way we can ch watch OBS. Is the game audio coming through? This Lego no, Marvel it doesn't Super come Heroes through or Superheroes 2? The game audio is, like, the, the audience can hear it. Okay, okay, good. Lego we, Marvel we just Superheroes 2. Uh, yeah, so we're playing Marvel Superheroes. We're gonna, for an hour, we're gonna chat about Marvel, because Chris and I are both fans. Yeah. And feel free to give us your hot takes in the chat about Marvel. I'm gonna give you my hot takes unsolicited. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just had a dirty thought looking at this. <laughs> confirm box. load. <laughs> wow. Wow. Please confirm load. <laughs> um. Yeah. So we're talking about superheroes. Chris went ahead and got to a certain side quest. That we're gonna play um, because it's got our favorite characters. got my favorite characters in it, so that's nice of Chris. Maybe we'll I will switch over so we can hear it since there's okay. no audio coming out of your thing. Okay, yeah. We'll just keep an eye on the um, Twitch. Okay. Twitch. Yes, it does. What superheroes do you like, Chris? I like uh, Spider-Man, Miss Spider Marvel, and Iron Fist. That's <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. Uh, That's Batman. <laughs> yep. Yes. You got Green Lantern. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got Batman. Yep. And Joker. Uh huh. Who are these? You got Loki. <laughs> um, that's uh, Billy Crystal. <laughs> And Green Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of somebody I always talk about when I talk about superheroes is uh, this kind of obscure superhero called the Hummingbird. She's uh, the avatar of an Aztec goddess. Oh, it was Aztec goddess. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the, the name. Let's just it's say a whole bunch of Q's and Z's and stuff. Wow, it know. seems racist. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just kind of, you know, yeah, self self owning. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce Aztec words. But you assume that it's full of Q's and Z's. Um. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> she's from um, Houston, and she hangs out with uh, Scarlet Spider, who is Spider-Man's clone. Um, yeah, and I also like Miss Marvel. This is Miss Marvel. She's a uh, uh, how did they clone Spider-Man? A Pakistani American from uh, New Jersey, from what? Jersey City. How did they clone Spider-Man? Uh, Jackal with did science. It. Who? Um, or magically. The Jackal? Who's a, the Jackal? A villain. A Spider-Man villain. Why did he clone Spider-Man? Uh, Doesn't that seem bad, like, if you'd make more of your well, enemy? Well, he, he cloned him and also brainwashed him, so he was, like, evil Spider-Man for a while, but he got better. He got better, so now <laughs> yeah, he's... He got better. <laughs> he's Scarlet Spider. Uh, yeah, so now he's Scarlet Spider, and for a while he was in Houston, um, because he's... Hanging out with Miss Marvel. Yeah, and, um... They dealt with crime and stuff, and cartels in Houston. Oh yeah, I guess doing cop stuff. Yeah, hanging out with cops, and I don't know. But she found out that she's she's the avatar of. Uh, I like her outfit, and I like her her stuff. She's so. the avatar of the Aztec god, who you can't yeah. pronounce. It's the Aztec word for hummingbird. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Jackal, you know, that Bruce Willis and Richard Gere movie. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Can't... You can hear game audio? Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh... That's that. Let's let's meet Hulkling and Wiccan. Yay! Uh, wait, who? 
Hulkling and Hulkling. Wiccan. Like a Hulk Zergling? Okay, Let, we'll go through the dialogue here and then we can speculate about the identities of these two uh, gay teams. So How do you know they're gay? Because they just got married in the comics. Oh. Are they gay in Lego Zone, though? <laughs> I don't know. This is the first time seeing them in this game. Chris, are is Hulkling and this other guy, are they an item in Lego? Um, I doubt it. Chris, where do new Lego people come from? How do you make new Lego people? <laughs> yes, yeah, you buy them. You buy them from the store. <laughs> You're the one who played this game. I thought you knew. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to concentrate on playing the game. Okay, Chelsea. I mean, from what I've seen in the game, you just break apart. Legos are already there, and then build new stuff okay, out of that. It's kind, it's kind of, uh, yeah. It's, okay. it's like a cycle. Sarka's over here, by the way. Death and rebirth. They're kind of out of the frame now. She turned me Hi. Hi. Aww. Aww. A friendship. Friends. I have a general idea where she might be lurking. Um. We're gonna need help to fully track her down. What with her being able to assume any form and stuff. Yeah, so this is Wiccan and Hulkling. Um, they're two of my favorite characters in the comics. Can we just teleport there? Um, I heard he did my cardio they are kind of known for being one of the first here. prominent LGBT couples in the canon. Um, they debuted in the group The Young Avengers in like, I want to say like 2010-ish, give or take. Um, and the premise of Young Avengers was that, like, the Avengers, like, some big battle shit happened as usual, and the Avengers, like, disbanded. Um, and then Kang the Conqueror, who is one of the big villains, he, in an alternate timeline, because it's comics, um, goes, he, his old deal is time travel, so he goes back in time to find his past self as a when he's like a teenager to like give him his time travel technology and be like you can make a new timeline that's even better because you'll have all this shit ahead of time but the teenager him is like oh shit i become a super villain that's not good so he instead goes um to the present time to find the avengers to get them to help him he's like listen you gotta kill me <laughs> yeah um but unfortunately, the time he ends up getting to is when the Avengers just split up, and for whatever reason he can't like go a year in the past or <laughs> before that or something. Um, so instead, he finds this failsafe program that is sort of like in uh, in that one X Men movie where Doc, where Professor X used Cerebro to like find all the mutants in the world. It's kind of like that where. He found a failsafe program that has a record of other superheroes um, who are younger, who could become the next generation of Avengers. So he uses that to find like a handful of superheroes, and they're like, we're gonna be the new Avengers. Um, and the press ends up calling them the young Avengers because they're like teens. And they at first model themselves on the original group of Avengers. Like Wiccan initially looks kind of like Thor, his costume. Um, and he pretends that he has lightning powers, but then later you find out he's actually like a wizard and can do magic and shit. Um, and Hulkling pretends to be like a Hulk kind of mutant, but he's actually um, a Kree Skrull hybrid, so he's an alien who can shapeshift. Is a Kree Skrull hybrid? The Kree and the Skrull are these two alien civilizations that have been, like, at war forever. And they're both very, like, powerful, empirical kind of um, civilizations that have been enemies to each other. And also, sometimes they're allies with the Avengers and sometimes they're enemies, and depending on, like, what's going on in the universe at the time. Um, Hulkling is interesting because, like, his whole deal is that it's his, like, destiny to unite these two empires that have been fighting since, like, thousands of years. Um, because he's actually, like, the heir to the throne and stuff. Um, he becomes- he, in the recent comics that just came out, like, a couple months ago, he actually became, like, their emperor, which was cool. 
and he and Wiccan finally got married. So, if I'm trying to understand, he's called the Hulkling, but he did not, like, bud off, though. No, he doesn't actually have anything to do with the Hulk, he just bases his look on the Hulk at, at first, and that just kind of stayed the same. Um, cause he, have, the scrolls are green, so like right. his true form does kind of look like the Hulk. I thought they were purple. No. What about Summon Scroll? Who? Summon Scroll? I don't know who that is. From Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, that's Hulkling's deal, basically. Um, it's more complicated than that, but that's like the paraphrase. Do the does um, Hulkling's parents do they have, like um do they enjoy Western RPGs? <laughs> Maybe. They well, might. They they are they like big fans of the Elder Scrolls? <laughs> uh so Hulkling's dad is Todd Howard. Is um <laughs> founder of Bethesda. Yeah. The is the original Captain Marvel, not Carol Danvers but Marvel. Mm -hmm. That's lame. Who is I a Cree. Uh, Marvel. Well, because the, the, all the the Kree's like their names this. are sound like two syllables. Sound like, like that. brands. Well, <laughs> they came up with this in like the seventies, so. and the other Kree's name is DC. Yeah, D Kree. <laughs> yeah. And they hoard it for ages, and then they struck a licensing deal together. Um, and then Billy's situation. Who's Billy? Billy is Wiccan. Oh. The other guy. Um, so, he at first, like, both of them, one of the interesting things in the Young Avengers is that when you first start out, even though they're copying the Avengers, they none of them think that they have a connection to the actual Avengers, they just think that they're, like, randos. And then as, like, the story goes on, they find out that they do have connections, like, Teddy didn't know that he's an alien, um, and he was raised by like a, his foster mom. Who's Teddy? Teddy is Hulkling. Oh. Um, and then later he finds out that he's actually a scroll Cree hybrid and stuff. Um, and then Billy also didn't think that he actually had a connection to the Avengers, but then he finds out that he's actually the son of the Scarlet Witch. Um, oh. And. The, and he basically has the same powers as her. I thought Scarlet Spider was a man. <laughs> different different Scarlet character. There are a lot of red characters. So you got Scarlet yeah, yeah, Spider. Yes. Yeah. And then Scarlet Witch. Mm -hmm. And then Scarlet Johansson. Yeah. Okay. Too many Scarlets. Scarlet Johansson plays both of them. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> no. She plays all the characters. That's sick. Oh, uh, never mind. I, let's fire up some Marvel movies, then. That sounds good. Um, yeah, so... There was this really big event quite a while ago called the House of M, where the Scarlet Witch um, kind of... She has, like, a lot of PTSD and trauma and like she basically like kind of loses it. It's like the the straw that breaks the camel's back. Um, when her she has um, she's married to the Vision, which is similar. And this is sort of might be what WandaVision is going to be um, based on when it comes out. Is that the new like Call of Duty game? Yeah, Call of Duty One Division. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so she is in love with Vision, but Vision's a robot, so they can't have kids. So she um, <laughs> adoption. Yeah. Have you heard of adoption? <laughs> they can't have biological. Well, she kids. does kind of adopt kids in a she, sense. Yeah. So what she she like magically adopts. Adopts. Well, <laughs> she, she not signing yeah. any papers. She thinks she's had her own kids, but it turns out they're pieces of Mephisto's soul. Yeah. Mephisto comic books being like... Comics books are all just like a giant soap opera. It sounds like they're making Look, stuff up. Yeah. I'm wicked. I mean, that's... All, all fiction is made up, Clark. I mean, it sounds like they're just, you know, kind of making it up as they go along. Um... I think that's what all s fictional stories you Homie, do. Homie, <laughs> you can plan a story ahead of time. You can have things written before they happen. Not when your stories span decades of content. And with 
several different writers. Yeah, like <laughs> dozens of different writers. Um, anyway, she makes magical twins. Um, Does she make and magical twins? Like, are they magical or were they made magically? They were ma- made magically. Okay. Um, and she and Vision are like a little happy family. But then there's like uh, the bad guy shows up and who she accidentally like used him to make the kids the Mephisto oh right um so he like I don't know he like makes them go back into his soul or some shit I'm yeah. so confused I thought Mephisto was like the Green Lantern bad guy no um Sinestro is the Green Lantern bad guy oh um, <laughs> so he, like, effectively, like, kills her children. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I think Mephisto might be kind of a jerk. Yeah. Oh, he's a, he's, he's just, asshole. Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know about this Mephisto guy. <laughs> yeah. So that is, and like I said, up to that point, it had sort of been building that, like, she's gone through a lot of shit, and she's not in a very good mental health place. Um... So that's sort of, like, the breaking point for her. And she uses her, like, magic reality warping powers to basically make her own little universe. Where, um, Magneto, who is her father, uh, like, like, mutants one or something, right? Like, they have their, they have their own country, the mutants. Oh, in the curtain continuity? In, no, in, in House of M. Oh yeah, um, Magneto starts tries to start a uh, mutant country in oh. uh, Genosha. Yeah. Wait, does Magneto do an ethnostate? Yeah, in Genosha. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing as he's a victim of the Holocaust yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's really fucked up. Um, Sinistro isn't always a bad guy. That's true. He's His name is literally Sinister. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bud. Um, What's that guy doing to Spider Man? He just saved Spider-Man from falling into a trap. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so she makes this alternate universe, basically, where they're, the mutants have their own country, and all the other, like, Avengers and stuff, like, have their dreams come true, essentially. Yeah. And it's kind of sad, because, like, the way that they figure out that they're in this, like, kind of matrixy world is that... So- like Wolverine or Spider-Man or somebody realizes that they're too happy or something. That sounds yeah. like a very much a Wolf Marine. <laughs> yeah. Realization. Yeah. Wait a minute, I feel fulfilled. <laughs> yeah, it is like something ain't right. So they figure I'm out. I'm not enjoying this utopia. Yeah, bug. and like a part of her world that she makes is that the um, Magneto and his family are all happy and they're like royalty and shit um, in this country, and she has her children are back, so she has them back. Um, and then the Avengers, like, figure out that it's all fake, so, and at first they think that it's Magneto that did it, because he made himself king, but then they find out it was actually Wanda, um, so they go and they, like, are trying to figure out if they should kill her, or if they should just, like, how to make her stop. Who's Wanda? Wanda's the Scarlet Witch. (laughs) Played by Scarlet Johansson. Yeah. Chelsea, you know how you always tell me when we're watching the Chinese anime? Yeah. Everyone has... Two names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick time event. Um. So Wait, she is like. Wait, she's named Wanda. Yeah. yeah. Like a magic Wanda. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she I was, fucking love <laughs> Marvel. All yeah. these guys were made up in the sixties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's like She-Ra par for the chorus. <laughs> She-Ra <laughs> is cool though. <laughs> um. So they they like there's a big thing and she realizes what she did and she regrets it and then she does like the worst thing ever and uses her magic to say no more mutants which basically like takes away most of the mutants powers um yeah. so Wait, why is that bad because it kind of is like a genocide of the mutants because they're not mutants anymore they're just regular people. Okay. And, like, a lot of the um, subsequent 
story arcs deal with that. With like the some, of that. yeah, the fallout of that. Because some mutants are happy because they didn't like, because they had like shitty powers that made people afraid of them and stuff, and now they could just be normal. And other people were like, now it sucks because I don't have my powers anymore, and that was who I was, and that sort of thing. Um, it sucks that I can't just possess people's <laughs> brains anymore. Yeah. Now I have to like <laughs> talk to them and become friends. Yeah. Fucking dumb. Um, Never mind. But anyway, when she did that, this is all to lead into. <laughs> Um, her children that she made again also disappeared with that universe. And she thought they were just gone forever. But it turned out that they actually got reincarnated in the normal world. Um, but to different families. So Billy got reincarnated in New York to this Jewish family. So he's Wicca. Yeah. So he's Jewish. There's actually been discussion, like in both in the fandom and in the comics themselves, about like, should I change my name? Because <laughs> he's not actually Wicca. Um, but uh, but yeah, Billy's. I like Billy. He's got some good. He's a fun character. Um, he's got some good represent representation in terms of both like LGBT. He's Jewish. He. Uh, has his own like he deals with like social anxiety and depression and mental health and stuff like that um and he's got cool powers which is fun okay i officially um, need to watch where i step so yeah so when the young avengers get together billy is one of them and like later on he finds out that he's the reincarnated child of the scarlet witch because they also find his twin who has the same powers as Quicksilver, who's Scarlet Witch's twin. Um, which is why Billy's like, oh, maybe. <laughs> and then there's one of my favorite um, comic arcs is the Children's Crusade, which is where they like figure all this shit out and find Wanda. And the art's really nice and that sort of thing. Well, and that's a so very brief said. history Oops. of Wiccan and Hulkling. Yep. And their origins. How did they get together? They're actually already dating when you meet them in the comics. Oh. Um, and at the time, it was, like, I don't remember if it was, like, the first explicit, like, gay relationship. Um, in... I can't remember if it was, if, uh, I know, I'm pretty sure that Bobby Drake came out, Iceman, yeah. from the X-Men. He came out he before came out, then, but, but he didn't have a superhero relationship. He didn't, he didn't have, have like, a, like, a boyfriend. NSO. Yeah. I wish that friggin' Wolf Marine would bone down. He kind of does, actually. In Ooh. the new in the new arc, um, in the new arc, the mutants decide to get their own ethno state again. Cool. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's How good. do you? Well, like you, they just decide it. They're like, you know what? Well, basically. Um, there's a time traveling superhero who figures out that every time, every time the mutants get fucked over in every timeline. So they're like, we're just gonna like all the villains team up with all the good guys, and we're like, we're all mutants. We're gonna stop fighting each other, and we're gonna try to band together and stop the humans from like fucking us over all the time. So they do some shenanigans and they create a living island that's like totally badass, and they invite all the. Uh, all the mutants to live there and there's like a mutant high council with a lot of the big name mutants on it mm -hmm. and they all have like this special apartment and the in the comics it shows you a diagram of the apartment and um a big uh love triangle in um in the comics is uh gene gray and uh cyclops and wolverine yeah, that's been a thing forever. Um, and on Krakoa, on their new island, their rooms are connected. So, so they're like poly? They're like poly, yeah. It's not confirmed. I don't think it's confirmed in the text that they're poly, but mm -hmm. it's pretty clear that they're poly. Is Wolf Marine boning down with Cyclops? I mean, they're poly, I, so... I, I remember reading a post a while back about Wolverine's history, and that apparently, like... Quite a while ago, it was confirmed in a comic that he's like bi or pan or something. Mm -hmm. 
that makes sense. He kind of doesn't give a fuck about what people think of him in general, you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel like you'd do better than Cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Cyclops is just kind of a, a jerk. Cyclops is the d textbook definition of wet blanket. Um, like, give me give me Wolf Marine and Gambolo. Yeah. Now that's a spicy parent. Yeah. Gambit. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> Gambolo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Team up attack. It just might show us where we need to go. Okay, cool. Well, we've pretty much covered all that. Um, I think I'm going to exit this mission here in a second and go to the uh, Runaways side mission, because that's the other thing that Chelsea and I both know a lot about. Mm -hmm. It's also one of the first LGBT... Yeah. Uh, the Runaways more like the fun aways. <laughs> yeah, they are yeah, fun. Like all another... the fun is going away from this game. <laughs> Boom. Another Got him. Uh, <laughs> Got him. <laughs> nice thing about Young Avengers, not just Billy and Teddy, but um, kind of all of the... Um, like, Young Avengers had like their own arc, their own run, and then there was a hiatus, and then they came back and there was Young Avengers Volume 2 more recently, and like, I don't know, 2014 or something. Um, and in that one, they like swapped some of the the characters out for new characters, which happens a lot on superhero teams. And in that particular um, lineup, all of the characters are some form of like LGBT. As far as I'm concerned, which is nice. Gambolo is a great fictional character to give you a sexual awakening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gambit in the X-Men cartoon, first indicator you might not be straight. <laughs> do you want to hear an even better? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I want you to, first of all, say what you're going to say, and second, explain how it's better than <laughs> Anuna Kitty's sexual awakening. <laughs> One of my first indications to myself that I wasn't straight was being attracted to Knuckles the Echidna in the comics. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with wanting to you're play. You're valid. Nothing wrong with wanting to throw a knuckleball, baby. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, um, let's see, lose progress in this mission and go back to Avengers Mansion and do the Runaways side mission. Yeah, Runaways also has, um, I don't know if they were one of the first, I don't remember when Young Men when Runaways started, but they have... or something? Yeah. And, like, Young Avengers also started around then, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, every every like ten years or so, the comic book guys they go they're like, hey, remember when comic book heroes were like teenagers? Mm -hmm. We need to do that again. <laughs> and then all those heroes get older. Yeah. And then they and have then to go back a and a whole bunch of new little kid heroes again. Yeah. That's why I like the Young Avengers characters. They just got married, and I think they're supposed to be around like twenty now. They got married at twenty. I don't. It. I don't know how old they are supposed to be. It's pretty ambigu ambiguous. But like, in the comics, they've been together for over a decade. Yeah. Because <laughs> time works weird in com comic books. Comic book ages. Weird things. Getting married at twenty is extremely heterosexual to me. <laughs> okay, where's Avengers Mansion? Um. But yeah, Runaways has Carolina, who. Uh, she's a lesbian. Yeah, and she's dating a scroll. And who don't well, she have... she was initially when right. in uh, the first run of the comics, she was dating a scroll. And like I think, not all scrolls, but not generally, hashtag not all scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> um, generally, a lot of scrolls are, I guess, non-binary. Yeah. Because, or at least, they're shape like are. the ones who like grew up with it within scroll society, they their alien race like doesn't have scroll binary, society. yeah, doesn't have the binary gender, because they can shape shift and be anything and have any body parts they want at any time. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Um, <laughs> so like she gets together with a scroll and initially the scroll is like presenting as a male um 
body. Um, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I'm a lesbian. Um, and Zavin's like, oh, well, that's not a problem for me, and just turns into a female-presenting person. And then, so they date um, for quite a while. But then I think in the comics nowadays, she's together with Nico, who's another, who's like the leader of the team. Yeah, Nico's really cool. She has this thing called the Staff of One, mm -hmm. which can do any magic spell, but it can only use the same spell once. Oh. So. And she, so she has to keep coming up with like new, new, new incantations. Words. Yeah. To... Basically just new words. She yeah. just needs a, th a dictionary app, th th a thesaurus on her. Uh, yeah, she has phone. a cool design. Um, Nico, Nico is... Nico is cool, yeah. What, is she Japanese? Uh, I, I think so, yeah. Um, and she dresses kind of like a punk goth. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see her here in a second when we get into her mission. Her... Gwenpool. You guys are gonna love Gwenpool. She's spunky. Hello Who's Gwenpool? Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> At least in this game. Wait, no, but who is Gwen? Okay, so you know Spider-Man's girlfriend, Stacey? Gwen Stacy? Oh no, did she become a Deadpool? Yeah. Well, in a, a, another universe. In, in another universe, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't want cheat codes. I want. My Instead own. of being Spider Gwen, she's Gwenpool. She mm -hmm. And but, so do Spider Gwen and Gwenpool coexist? Like. No, I think they're in different universes. Okay, how many yeah. fanfics are yeah. <laughs> there where they're shipped? <laughs> I don't know very much about Gwenpool. Is it self sassed uh, yes. Is Spider Gwen and Gwenpool self sass I would say yes. Yeah. No, I don't think they're shipped with each other. How do I, I mean, someone switch? probably does. Yeah, I'm sure you can find the <laughs> fan. Get on AO3. Get on AO3 <laughs> right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's my phone? Or can somebody help look this up? Yeah, I'm looking up uh, Runaway AO3 Side right now. <laughs> What do you need? The Runaways DLC side mission. I don't uh -huh. know how to access it. Oh. It kind of automatically started last time I like installed the game, but there Can must be another way to start it. Go to that like lab area, maybe. Oh, that's a good idea. Extras. Yeah, Runaways is fun. There's Nico, who's um, a magic user. Carolina is an alien who like glows and can fly, and I don't know. I don't remember if she has strength, super strength. I don't think so. Um, but she glows like a rainbow, which is cool. Yeah. Um, there's Molly, who's like a little kid with super strength. There's. Chase, who has um, these like gauntlet things that he can do stuff with. Also, the whole the premise of the Runaways is that their parents are all super villains, um, and like at first they didn't know that; they just thought their parents were all rich. <laughs> What's the difference? Am I right? Uh, Whoa! Capitalism is a disease. <laughs> Um, Here we go. But they, yeah, but they find out that their parents all are in like a cult or something. Yeah, a supervillain cult. Cabal of, I think they're called the Cabal. There's Nico. She's a witch. I don't think it's the Cabal, but it's something like the Pride. Yeah, that's what it is. The Pride. The pride. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Gertrude is has a psychic link with a dinosaur. <laughs> And the dinosaur has a big ass nose ring. Yeah. Even the dinosaur is punk. Um, but okay. yeah, they find out that their parents are super villains, and they're like, "That's not cool." So they all they run away. How do you feel about this fanfic? It is an explicit tag. Uh huh. And it's called "Marvelous Sex Fight." Oh. And it's a Gwen Pool Spider Gwen fic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Gwenpool's group project featuring lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. 
Wait, what the it hell? On giving. All right, Gwenpool is giving us the premise here. Oh. Did she draw manga? Yeah. yeah. Is this freaking Gang Gang Rampa? Yeah. Gwenpool has uh, fourth wall breaking abilities. Oh, yeah, so it's, yeah. it's like, you know, Deadpool shit, right? Yeah. Okay, so giant shadowy figures notwithstanding, this looks like a lovely underwater lair. Classic bad guy choice of abode. Nice. All right, Seems like who am I? Nico's a little trapped uh, right Molly. now. Yeah. Who's Molly? Uh, Molly's a little. The, she's the youngest. She's like a preteen. She's like 13. She's like 10 or 12 or something. But who but is she? <laughs> she has super strength. Okay, cool. But every time she uses her super strength, she um, passes out afterwards. She gets tired. Her powers are still developing. Hmm. You should probably help Gert out with that. Just a suggestion. Yeah, there's actually um, a TV show based on the Runaways that I watched some of. Um. It wasn't bad. It, what was interesting was that it focuses a lot more on the parents than the comics did, and sort of the fallout of that, um, which I enjoyed. Oh, the TV show? Yeah. But I didn't finish it. And one thing that I didn't like was um, they like made Molly a bit older. Like, the actress definitely seemed like not a little kid. She seemed more like 14 or so. But they wrote her like she was younger. So there was a lot of like oh. dissonance for me. Kid actors. <laughs> Where like she she looked like a teenager, but she acted like she was like ten, and I was like I didn't understand. <laughs> I'll save you Stan. Oh no, is Stanley in trouble? Yeah. There's a Stanley cameo in every level. Oh, that's not Stanley, that's that's um, uh, Gertrude. Who's Gertrude? She's the one with the dinosaur. Yo, that is so unhelpful. What does that mean? Uh, you, Gertrude what I said <laughs> earlier. Gertrude, um She has a psychic link with a dinosaur. Yeah. That's her power. Okay, how can I summon the dinosaur? Oh. How can I get on the floor and walk the dinosaur? Uh, she plays the drums, apparently. Is her super move? Um, Doesn't Gwen do that? Summon the dinosaur? No, the drums. Not not Spider- I mean, not um, Gwenpool, but Spider-Gwen. Oh, yeah, she plays the drums, yeah. Like, in the game. I thought I saw you do that at one point. Oh, probably. As her. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, character mechanics that they reuse, the right considering there's like 200 on, different Nico. playable characters. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, Spider Gwen definitely plays the drums. I've wa I've read some of her comics. She is in a band and stuff, and she does ballet. Or she used to do ballet. Can I shoot a beam with this with this character? What is with this fucking yoked bumblebee? Uh, that's, um, Wasp. She's the hint. Yeah, I don't know why hint she's the hint person. Of the game. Um, Janet Van Dyne, Ant-Man's, uh, former partner. Um, partner, like, sidekick or partner, like, GF? Like, GF. What happened? Um, Ant-Man's a dick. Oh. That's what happened. <laughs> Well, really? What did he do? Uh, he 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 straight up slapped her. Whoa! Yeah, he was so physically never, abused her. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I never read the Ant Man comics. Yeah, it's pretty notorious, actually. Him and Reed Richards are both. They're brilliant scientists, yeah. but they're. Assholes. I knew I knew that Reed Richards right is an asshole. Yeah. Who's Reed Richards? Mr. Fantastic. Oh, Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. That didn't help. Let's go the other way. I think you're supposed to do swivel. Swivel. Nice swiveling. Like do circles with the stick? Like tilt this. it? Whoa. Like this. Back and, back and forth. Oh, like half Everything circles? Yeah. Totally fine. Like you're trying you're to sure do the hurricane kick from Street Fighter Turbo 2. 
Carolina's not looking so good. Never got Might those. be for the best if she sits this one out. Down. Carolina, your bench with Molly from here on in. Wow. Your yeah. gamer credit is on the line, is Buster Brown. Dinosaur. It really is. I, I need to get into some fighters. You know. I'm not learning a fighting game to get at Salty Do they have about. Street Fighter uh, in um, on that SNES emulator on Switch? They probably don't. Huh? No, they don't. Uh, you don't think so anyway. Chase is trapped under the leaf frog. Come on, oh. guys, help him out. Like, oh yeah, they're ship whatever. or whatever. Their ship, the leap frog. It's called the leap frog because it looks kind of like a frog. Oh, I thought you meant like their relationship. Name. It's <laughs> called the leap frog. <laughs> All right, let's see what uh, goes. Uh, super is. Gotta get all these studs. Ooh, Wait, so Nico's power is just like Max from Scribble Knots, then? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what's her super though? Okay. What? Do, how do you know? Maybe it's cool. <laughs> Maybe it'll one-shot the final boss. Good point. Ooh, she has a teleport move. Pew. That's cool. Okay, uh, who do I need to break down this thingy? Uh, Groot? Oh, um, don't. <laughs> don't do Groot. Don't bring Groot <laughs> I forgot this. how much you hate Groot. <laughs> Can we just leave Groot at home? Um, let's see, maybe Molly can do it? Oh, I don't have Molly right now. Playing the drums is Kitty's superpower, too. Oh, that's cool. What do I do? Maybe uh, Nico can shoot a beam. No, she's just got super blasts. Blast this. What's that um, big thing there? This. Yeah. Maybe you can open that. Open Good it. Idea. Let all the water in. Yeah. Water is Here, I'll Nico's put the power. In front of it. Also, I can. There's there's oh. a couple people out there, like. What? Like there's a, someone out there waiting for you or something. Let him in. He's drowning. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying, Christopher! I thought you were a superhero! <laughs> I'm just entranced by every time you start her super, she falls out a drum kit, and then it falls apart, and you just summon another drum kit. <laughs> you can make so much money selling all this shit. Drum kit summoning. Uh, okay, I'm just goofing off now. I don't know how, I don't know what the next step is. You gotta save that people who are drowning. Maybe, um, maybe uh, Old Lace can do the group thing. Because the cutscene was pointing me at that breaking wall. There's something sparkly. Oh, that's good. Oh, Ooh. Nico can uh, magic this. There you go. Puzzle solved. Easy. Okay, what did that do? You got meta currency. Press the button. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. You did it. You do it. You made the circle appear. All in a day's work, citizen. Okay. Uh, group has gotta do this one for some reason. Only Gert can push buttons. Is Gert like the girl Gert version of Groot? <laughs> oh, uh... Old Lace is in this bubble here. Yeah. Old Lace is free! Who's a good Velociraptor? Or a Deinonychus, maybe? Hey, 
Uh, ah! That's okay, I'm a dinosaur. I got this. Step aside, citizens, I'm a dinosaur. Stand down, citizens, I'm a dinosaur. Yeah, That's but what Mario said in Mario Odyssey. Back to the whole, like, uh... No, I don't want you to blast, I want you to, to build. Um... As far as favorite superheroes go, uh, as far as like main, like like A list, what they call A list superheroes, mm -hmm. Captain Marvel's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, and Spider Man is all right, but Spider Man always has horrible, horrible things happen to him. Yeah, Spider Man, like I feel He's like goes through the shit. most shit. <laughs> Spider Man's hard life. Yeah, he's like. Died a million times. He's been cloned. He's been like had his had his mind brainwashed and if you switched with Spider Man and Red and... Spider, is this obsessed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're different guys. Well, it's even self obsessed with the female clone of Peter Parker. How? Well, at least I know that it's. I don't know if it's self obsessed, but it's certainly they they tried it once and it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Explain. Did they bone down? Canonically? I think they do. I think they try once. Weird. Yeah. That was the side mission, I think. Woo! Perfect timing. 15 minutes of gameplay cost me $2. Wow. <laughs> was it worth it? Well, I have all these characters now to play in free play. That's fun. And um, I haven't gotten to play as Chase yet, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Was it worth $2? Yeah. Great. That you're here to hear, folks. <laughs> best way you can spend $2, or maybe second best way, when you consider the fact that you can be giving that $2 to Extra Life Charities for helping sick kids heal sick kids through playing games. Link below. <laughs> Link below. <laughs> What else is uh, people saying in the chat? They're saying, oh my god. It was two dollars for new characters, basically. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. play this video game so good. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't realize you were in the chat, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Okay. Melissa, you, you, could, you can weigh in on the Marvel discussion. Yeah, Melissa, you can talk about Marvel. What do you think about my new sh favorite ship, Wolf Marine Gamble <laughs> You're still cleaning? I think Gambit is by. Okay, that's Hey, sick. thanks for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Who followed us? Someone named Sebas something. Sebastian? It was like Sebas underscore something. What's next on the docket, y'all? Hades. Oh, cool. I'm gonna have to swap out uh, Steam logins. That's no problem. I guess I could have played as Chase before entering the Leapfrog and everything. Okay, Ooh, let's, let's, nice. let's play as this we person. Woo! What's this person's name, Clark? It should not take long Who's that? And crystal to open you tell me. Is that Midna? <laughs> um, wait, am I supposed to like know this character? No, I just wanted you to make funny, oh. funny <laughs> names for her. Oh, that's uh, Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Maybe much. Ginger Rapunzel. Yeah, that's brave. You have abilities too. When did you attain them? Her hair takes up the entire like character model. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> From the back. Yeah, this is uh, Medusa, and uh, she's an Inhuman, of which there's going to be a big Marvel movie of. What's an Inhuman? 
Uh, Inhumans are uh, superhumans that were created by the Eternals when they were fucking around with. Who are the Eternals? Uh, <laughs> godlike <laughs> beings. There's so many guys. <laughs> um. It's like you look at when Chris unlocks a character and you see like a million characters on the screen. Those aren't even all the Marvel characters. <laughs> There's so many more. There's someone's vacuuming out in the hall. Nice. That's what that sound is, in case y'all were wondering. So the Inhumans were our superhumans that were created by a race of extraterrestrial beings called the Eternals. Who were fucking around with human genetics because they wanted to win a war. But then they won the war anyway and they were like, okay, bye. And so the Inhumans are kind of like the X-Men, but the Inhumans deal is more of like uh, they already have their own like floating kingdom on the moon. And like... Uh, Just like Sailor Moon. I don't know. I feel like the Inhumans come up most of the time when you want some like kind of... Uh, should I, move I don't know, to? some like royal royal intrigue, like that kind of Game of Thrones shit, you know? Because they have a kingdom, and Black Bolt, who's following me around right now, is, is the king, and Medusa is the queen, and and Black Bolt is also comes out a lot when people talk about power levels, because uh, Black Bolt's uh, mute. But when he does speak, it releases insane amounts of power. Oh, and he F. just got fucking destroyed. <laughs> I'm trying to talk you up, man! <laughs> wow, he sounds like he sucks. Okay, I need to do projectiles or something. This guy. Who is this guy? Is this Sentinel? Yeah, something. I'm just gonna spam. So whenever... Riveting like, gameplay. <laughs> yeah, even a whisper from... Uh, Black Bolt. From Black Bolt will, like... Fuck your shit up. And if he yells, it can like destroy a plant. Oh. Um, it's a good thing he doesn't just play like, Fortnite. Just like Goku. Just like Goku. Yeah. <laughs> Who would win, Black Bolt or Goku? <laughs> That's a valid. Uh, <laughs> I think. Um, I don't know. Goku seems pretty insane. Black Bolt is. His powers are pretty specific. Goku seems to find new power levels just out of his ass whenever, <laughs> he, whenever he wants to. Fans get stronger every time they almost die. It's a big cheat. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure Goku would win against Black Bolt. But Black Bolt can take down the Hulk um, sometimes. I feel like a lot of times Black Bolt ends up just jobbing to like show people like this new character is a badass. Oh shit, Black Bolt was defeated by this new character. Black Bolt is like the wrestler who like has a legacy that loses on purpose to yeah. give the other wrestler a yeah, boost. Yeah, exactly. Just to, to, to build up the, the hype for the new guy. Black Bolt is like late career Undertaker. Yeah. Don't take my word for this. I'm sure if there was a bigger comic nerd out here, they have enough things to say. But they're not here, are they? Tell me about Black Bolt, you big comic nerd. <laughs> I don't know much about the humans. Oh. Uh, oh wait, actually, they're not gay enough for me. They're not. It's Fair. not. I, I just. I made a mistake. It's not the Inhumans who are gonna have a, movie, a Marvel MCU movie. It's the Eternals. You messed up. The Inhumans are getting something like a TV show. Or something. They had a TV show and it sucked. Oh, did they? Yeah. They. The the Marvel guys. Uh, Fuck that one up. It's called um, Iron Fist. Hey -o! Like, they made like four episodes and then canceled it. Uh. Yeah. Um, yeah. This Sentinel yeah, is taking forever to kill. This it's weird, sucks, like. But. With the MCU and the DCU, it's, um. For DC, it feels like their movies. Don't, aren't very good, but their TV shows are popular. Yeah. And with Marvel, it's the other way around. Yeah, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has a very niche audience. From my understanding, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is good, but you have to get through the first season first. And no one wanted to do that. <laughs> it's okay as TV show. Yeah. I liked Agent Carter, but it got cancelled. There's some good actors, too, like uh, Ming-Na Wen is in... Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Well, we got to know Black Bolt, we got to know Wiccan, and uh, oh, I didn't know he could fly. Oh. 
Are there new things every day? I know. Okay. And uh, we're going to move on and get some Hades runs in here from our girl Clorac. Kitty says, Inhuman show is really bad. Uh, the human, the Inhumans were in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. at one point, apparently. Yeah, there's a lot of Inhuman. Yeah, there's a lot of crossover between the TV shows and stuff. Um, I.e. Daisy, Yo-Yo, and various other characters. Melissa liked Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She had a good time watching it. Oh yeah, Daisy has earthquake powers and she's an Inhuman. Yeah. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy! <laughs> <laughs> There's your crossover art prompt. Right? Mm -hmm. That's usually your dog, Chris. Right. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna take a little break to switch over to a different game. Don't go nowhere. We're gonna play Hades next, or uh, Clark is at least. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna s pause the recording so that it'll be a different video on YouTube. So stick around. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the next video should be in the playlist. Yeah! I love it. Super, super, super hero. Super, super, Just, super can, hero. Well, I don't want to cut it off while you're talking. <laughs> I, super, I you super. To. I wanted you to. <laughs> oh. It's okay. Just stop. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>